Snowy, I knew you'd do it. Shh, quiet. Now, go hide in case they spot me and you need to rescue me again. So I'm here, and that's the maintenance room. That's where I'll find the fuse. But I must cross the post office to get there, which is... that door. The symbol on his back says he works here at the post office. That's the door leading to the laundry, where the maintenance room is. I can't get through that door unless I make that sailor go away. I can't get through that door unless I make that sailor go away. I can't tell if he works at the post office or not. Looks like an interphone. Hello, can I talk to someone at the post office? No, no, I just need you to go to wherever you're supposed to be working now. So, you don't even know where I work, and yet you're giving me orders? Stop joking, whoever you are, all right? Crumbs, it didn't work. You hear me? I hear him, but I'd better stay quiet now. Whatever. That's weird. The light stayed on even after I stopped pressing the button, which must mean it stays lit if another speaker is pressing their interphone's button. have to reach the maintenance room and get a fuse. We interrupt our broadcast with breaking news. Territorial tension is increasing between the army and the nomads in the Khmer Desert. Here is a statement from Colonel Fuad, the supreme military authority in the city of Aboudin. And so, under my command, Glorious Abudin enters a new... I think I already know how to use this. Scotch tape. What an invention. For my plan to work, I have to tie one end to the porthole, and I could use this pipe as a sort of pulley. Though, I'd probably need to do something else first, because the rope is too thick to pass through those triangle rings. And fix the cargo lift, of course. For my plan to work, I have to tie one end to the porthole, and I could use this pipe as a sort of pulley. Though, I'd probably need to do something else first, 
because the rope is too thick to pass through those triangle rings. And fix the cargo lift, of course. I'd better change my voice now. Attention, everyone! Please stay alert for an important announcement! I won't know if my plan is working till I see what's happening in the post office. Ha! He works at the laundry. And he's expecting an important announcement. I don't want to keep him waiting. All laundry room personnel, return to your workplace at once. I repeat, laundry room personnel, return to your workplace, or you'll be fired! It worked! He's gone! Now I have to be careful if I want to sneak past the other sailor. Be precise, name all stops by law. The ghost is back. Maybe he's not here anymore, but it's real. What a waste of time. Call the cops! I found the drug dealing ghost! Waste of time. There it is, the maintenance room. Why are we chasing a dog? It's ridiculous! Is it you, ghost? This ghost will come with me! And don't vanish, drug dealing ghost! Ghost, come with me and don't vanish, drug dealing ghost. There it is, the maintenance room. Why are we chasing a dog? It's ridiculous. A fuse. I'm so close now. One, two, three, and twenty. Okay, let's write it down. Got it.
Why doesn't it work yet? Dash, the cables are a real mess. fixed it. Now that I've fixed the lift, I can tie one end here and the other end to the porthole. Though, I'd probably need to do something else first, because the rope is too thick to pass through those triangle rings. For my plan to work, I have to tie one end to the porthole, and I could use this pipe as a sort of pulley. Though, I'd probably need to do something else first, because the rope is too thick to pass through those triangle rings. Tintin and Snowy save the day. They took that picture at the official banquet the city of Chicago held in our honor after we fought Al Capone. The blonde woman is Mary Pickford, the famous actress. And the man with the monocle... Wait, that's the bad-tempered man from yesterday. I knew I had met him before. Roberto Rastapopoulos, owner of Cosmos Pictures, the largest American cinema company. Now this could be really useful. Mel G. Ford to direct Arabian Nights. Of course, that's the man I saw yesterday, sleeping on the top deck. For my plan to work, I have to tie one end to the porthole, and I could use this pipe as a sort of pulley. Though, I'd probably need to do something else first, because the rope is too thick to pass through those triangle rings.
what if I use it like this? If it's accurate, it's at this very spot that we shall find the tomb of Kiosk. Oh, what did I tell you? Here's the tomb! That's amazing! <laughs> oh, oh, noble Pharaoh, here I am! The name of Sophocles' sarcophagus will be remembered by future <laughs> generations! <laughs> <laughs> A cigar. A cigar here of all places. How odd. And it just gets stranger and stranger. The pharaoh's symbol is on the band. I wonder what Professor Sarcophagus will make of it. <gasps> what in heaven's name? Sarcophagus! <sighs> it's as if he'd vanished into thin air. <gasps> Aha! Go on, Snowy, but be careful. What's that, Snowy? <coughs> the professor's shoe. He has to be close. <coughs> professor? Can you hear me? Professor? It seems like the dangers the professor warned of are already here. Look at that! Well, everything looks quiet for now. I hope there's nothing else besides those loose pillars. I can't believe we're in an Egyptian tomb! <coughs> Easy, Snowy. It's not even a real beetle. Are these channels for decoration, or do they have some kind of connection with that symbol? Hmm. Sealed. But the professor said these tombs were filled with secret mechanisms.
right, this is a bit tricky. But the only way to get it right is to get it wrong first. I can move pieces up and down to save them for later. See, I can switch two pieces in the left column without changing the rest of it.
That sounded like the good kind of click. Look, the snake symbol has sunken into the door. Perhaps we can open the door if we do the same thing with the others. Easy, Snowy. It's not even a real beetle. One piece is clearly different from the rest. wave symbol has sunken into the door. Look, Snowy, the professor was right about the mysteries in these tombs. I think I'm going in the right order now.
We did it! Oh no, a new melody. Now we've got it! Well, what's a first without a second? And a second without a third? So proud of us. Huh? Ah. Did the door just slam ah. shut of its own accord? Look! The professor's other shoe. way to open it, or else we'll never find him. Don't you think, Snowy? <coughs> Snowy? Snowy, where are you going? Snowy, where are you going? Why are you running? This could all cave in at any moment! Be careful! You could get hurt! Maybe I should be careful too. And don't fall! We have no rope! I hope nothing happens to him. Come on, he's gonna be fine. He's the smartest dog in the world. Of course, that's it. Have you picked up the professor's scent? But then, why can't he hear me? Ouch! Why is the floor so hard? Stop! 
Snowy, answer me. <gasps> Finally. Are you following the professor's scent or? Not again. Snowy, come here! Oh, crumbs! Snowy, be careful! It's full of traps around here! No, 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 no! Yes! Good thing he's too small to fall into them. Too bad I'm not. All these traps can only mean one thing. Just one thing. We're getting closer to the tomb of Kiosk. And probably also to the Professor. But wait, the Professor spoke of a curse. And no Egyptologists ever come back. Maybe. Maybe that's the curse of Chaos. I'll never get out of here. Maybe. Maybe that's the curse of Chaos. Run till you go mad. Snowy, stop! Come back here! Now! You're in danger! Listen to me! You've been hit by the curse of Chaos! There's something on the other side. We've got to find a way to open this door.
you see that, Snowy? The light beam from the statue is shining through the hole in the door. Let's be careful. Who knows what we'll find in there. I hope you're not still thinking about the beetle. It looks like the place where builders, or embalmers, or whoever worked here took their breaks. giant kiosk symbol on the ground surrounding the statue. I guess it must be some kind of door again. Speaking of which... Hmm, that's exactly what I thought. I wonder what this scale is for. Dash! This must be the kind of sleigh that the professor told me about. The ones that ancient Egyptians used to transport heavy things. This reminds me of something the professor told us about. The weighing of the heart. Ancient Egyptians thought that, when you died, your heart was weighed against a feather. If they balanced, you were rendered worthy of paradise. Hmm. Maybe we should find a heart and a feather and put them on the statue's weighing scale. There's nothing inside. This one's empty. It looks like a crossing between rails, like the ones those other statues with the mirrors were mounted on. But... What are those two holes for? Look at all that sand pouring in. If we gave it enough time, it could fill the whole room. It's too heavy. I'd say it only opens completely when something heavier than me stands on that exact spot on the ground. What kind of wood can last so many centuries?
It looks like it wants to move, but it doesn't. seem to move it any farther in this direction. Why? It looks like it wants to move, but it doesn't. Is it the feather or the heart that goes here? I guess it's the same either way. Oh look! A white gem! Hmm. It's empty too. Gosh, I think they told me about this when I learnt to play chess. It's Senet, its ancient Egyptian cousin. Is it the feather or the heart that goes here? I guess it's the same either way. How can I open it? The weighing of the heart against a feather. Is it the feather or the heart that goes here? I guess it's the same either way. helps me in the end.
Whoever made this statue in the shape of stairs, I sure appreciate it. I'm not going to fall. Don't worry. Move away, Snowy! Never wondered how much a grain of sand weighs, Snowy. Just one million times less than one million grains. That's about how many grains are in here. Great! I hope it doesn't close now. I know you were expecting a beetle, but look! Such an incredible piece of art, isn't it? I hope I did it right. Only this side left to fill now. There must be some trick to open it.
the professor's cutaway jacket. But how on earth did it end up there? Open it. There must be some trick to open it. This side left to fill now. Looks like we've already done half the job. Sounded like the bad kind of click. Something bad's bound to happen. I can feel it. These amphorae are full of scrolls. One can only imagine how many secrets are kept inside. I wish I could remember the names of all the gods the professor told me about.
か。What's happening, Snowy? Yes! Oh my! That's the worst kind of click I've ever heard! Run, Snowy! Snowy? That was a close call, wasn't it? I hope that's the good kind of rumble, if there's such a thing. done half the job. Thank you. 
better step back. Let's go. Destination, I guess. If we've learned anything about ancient Egyptians, besides their love of self-closing doors, is that light beams point to the exit. Now that's better. Remember Chicago, when I climbed from window to window on that building? Oh. This is much higher. A tunnel? Bad luck, it's too small. Snowy, can you...? Great. But be careful, will you? We're so lucky you're smaller than I am! Snowy? What are you trying to say? Oh, that was it. You never cease to impress me. Yes, old boy. You're amazing. Come on, let's keep moving. Makes that Chicago building seem like a piece of cake.
Oh, they were just bats. They always manage to... Shh! Don't even think about opening that. Uh-oh. Oh dear, again? Run! By thunder! Don't they ever run out of closing doors? ends there, right next to that pillar. Ha! Huh, the Royal Cipher of Kiosk! If I know my ancient Egyptians, that's where we must direct the light beam. <laughs> 